tie a little bait fish pattern, something like a roach, but more slim line than some of the others we might have tied before. So I'm using a Sakuma Manta 545 Extra in a size 50 here. And I'm coming down to about halfway down the shank, the core of the fly. I'm going to put on a few strands of uh, pearl crystal here. Tie them in across the middle of the bunch and fold them back on themselves. Wrap them in. I'll cut those off at six and a half, seven inches on this fly. Little lab of super glue just to hold that in place. So I'm now going to create my bunch of the tinsel to make this fly by blending. Now, some of you may or may not have seen this before, but what I do is I get tinsel, these uh, spools of tinsel, and I'll set them on the ground with their and take a strand of each up, and then I'll wrap that round and round my hand. Uh, now at the minute these are not the colours I'm using. What I have on the ground is uh, a slightly heavier uh, holographic silver, a light holographic silver. There's a, a thin plain silver and there's two pearls as well. So that's five different strands and when I mix that round and round my hand it's going to create like a blended bunch of tinsel. So as you can see I have the strands all together here. And then as I wrap those around my hand, I'll end up with a blended pearl silver bunch. So I wrap it round and round and round and round my hand until I get as much as I want. And then I break it off, but I leave the bunch hanging across my knees because I'm going to make a second bunch. As we get on up slightly, so I'll end up with this, which is a, like a ring of tinsel. Cut that off, but it'll be blunt ended. So, what you want to do is pull it out a few fibers here, a few fibers there, and end up with like a taper to your bunch. And there's obviously the converse taper on this side, and we'll tie that out to the length of our fly. And then I'm going to wrap along for maybe a centimeter or so here. And if I take my super glue, put a little bit of run of super glue on that, and I'm going to take a bunch of silver uh, angel hair. And I'm just going to dub loosely that into the super glue of that. Now that's not necessary. You don't you don't necessarily have to do that if you don't want to, because there's so much tinsel on the fly anyway that you're not going to see the body. It's just for your own sake. And I will fold that back. One turn catching over these ends if I can get it to sit, but they're so slippy that they may not. There we go. And we'll put a bit of glue on that. Another little bunch of our dubbin. Now you, that could do as your fly, but I said we're going to put two bunches on this one. If you're tying a smaller fly, you wouldn't need the second bunch. So we're going to create another bunch in our hand here of the same mix. As before, make our ring. Cut it and don't pull it past it just as much this time because we don't want it to stretch out to the back. I'm going to tie that across. 
across itself there and then double it back. Pull all that tinsel back. Get a couple of wraps across that. Dab super glue to hold it in place. I'm going to make the head out of this, which is like a silvery grey craft fur. So I'm going to take a good bunch of that and cut it off its backing. And now I want to pull out, I'm holding on tight to the tips here, and I want to get rid of a lot of the under fur out of that, because we're looking this to be, I said, not overly bulky. And we we'll take that bunch and put it on to wrap around the shank of the hook. Get a couple of turns on. And then we're going to take this, separate it all out, and then just fold it back on itself. I'll create a little bit of a head. And finish that off. So now we're going to take our brush and brush the head fibers back on themselves. You see we've got a nice streamlined shape here. Once they're pulled back, I'll pull them back good and tight. And then super glue the head. And you want a little bit of super glue just to go into the first bits of our uh, craft fur head here. And they will set fairly rapidly hold our shape. Now if you want the head flat you can pinch it there and that will set it nice and flat. And then if I take my fly and I hold it upright I can now trim it. But you trim from the rear forward. It just won't work the other way. Give us a nice streamlined taper to our fly. We're going to add eyes to this now, but uh, the super glue that's in this needs to dry first, otherwise, it'll react with the glue that stick the eyes on. So, I have another one here done from earlier. So. Set that in. And, uh, on this one, because it's sort of like a roachy kind of a thing, I'm going to use these, which are about a six millimeter red eye. And I'm going to use Evo Stick Furious Glue. Put a blob of that onto the back of the eye. Push that onto the side of the head. A little bit of the glue will blab up round. I like to just wet my finger and just catch the edge of that round the eye. To me it just makes it more secure, less likely to fall out. And then we'll do the same on this side over here. Check them for distance. Push it in. And there we have 
our little slim line tinsel roach. <laughs>